Hey guys, and welcome back to more Phoenix Point. We have the Scarab now, and I'm very eager to try it out, guys. We're gonna find a scavenging mission or something, and we're gonna put it right into our ship, and we're gonna take our three best soldiers, because it takes three slots, and we're gonna try it out. We're gonna put it right here at the base, so we're going to take Fishbed, Darren, and Yar. So sorry, Michael, but we're gonna take the other three again at some point, and we also are building training facilities so they're not going to go to waste they're going to be at the base and they're going to get their training now let's get the vehicle onto the manticore there we go very good and we're going to name it charlie there we go excellent stuff charlie is going to be our little helper so now we're going to have to find some interesting missions i would say what we should start doing is i definitely want to reverse engineer that as soon as possible after the pandoran evolution I want to start reverse engineering the iron cast because that is a serious good shotgun which I can't wait to get my hands on for my assault team. They definitely need those. We also need a lot more tech points and we're going to do some restructuring in the base in um, this episode or in a couple of episodes. But I have a plan what I want to do. I want to specialize this, tr this base here on training. I don't think we need as much storage. For example, we have a lot of storage so I think I can destroy that in favor of... Um, another training facility or even another energy generator or we're gonna get rid of say food production because the other bases have food production or can have it and we're going to get rid of that which gives us three energy and then we can build three more training facilities in place of it because they only take one energy each which is gonna be amazing anyway so that's something that we're gonna do going forward now we are at 24 friendly with the disciples of Anu so their mission is right here and I think we should try it and sent our Charlie onto a test run. Instead of understanding that survival now depends on adaptation and cooperation, these raiders have kept us the ways of the old world, creed and conflict. They've been attacking havens, hoarding stolen supplies and causing problems for everyone with their unrelenting selfishness. The exalted has decided that this must stop, but yet the powerful exalted relies on us to help it out. All right, okay, so we have Fishbed now. I did a couple of equipment changes. Fishbed now has a sniper rifle as well as a Phoenix um, hand cannon, uh, the cannon. I'm also right now um, manufacturing a grenade launcher that we're going to give Fishbed. As soon as Fishbed levels up, we're going to pump everything into strength or as much as possible into strength and um, basically going to give them three weapons. We're going to have then the very far grenade launcher, a very nice sharpshooter with high damage, and of course, our hell cannon, which I actually want to replace with a rattling gun or a minigun, uh, just to see the difference. This one does 180 damage, but the minigun does 40 damage, 12 bursts, which implies it's 440 damage in total. We're gonna have to test that out. So then we have Darren. Darren is, um, because Darren is a hybrid with assault class, I gave Gar uh, Darren a assault rifle for close combat I, I know we can close sniper rifle as well but it's kind of nice to only have two action points uh, to be used like on a gun so if we use quick aim for that that's one action point that costs as much as a handgun and does way more damage than a handgun so i thought that would be a good move and um, we also have yar updated to um Basically, don't use the other gun anymore because everything has more armor now, so the 30 damage is going to be pretty pointless. And Yar is going to get a shotgun. That's what this ammunition is for, the Anu shotgun magazine. So, yes, I'm really excited for that going forward, so let's do it. Okay, and here we are. Now, um, let me just address... Oh, we already have somebody there. We're going to check them out in a second. Let me just address the whole editing thing. In the last episode, I tried kind of editing down the uh, combat a little bit and... After watching it back myself, I kind of feel like the unedited version is a little bit more interesting to me personally. It's like when I watch, I watch three different YouTubers right now in the moment for um, Phoenix Point content because they have a lot more time to play a lot more. So I learn a lot from them. And I do have to say, I keep finding myself going back to Christopher Ott who does the whole planning and everything and doesn't really cut anything out so let me know what you think and a lot of you already have said they prefer leaving it all in but it just means longer episodes and that's fine by me i mean you can just you know set it on to double speed if you want now we have our vehicle here which has a launching missile which is really really awesome 
So we can go into our vehicle if we want to. It has 530 health. But let's check out our competition here. So we have named assault classes. So these guys are named. Uh, assault class, bulldog, okay. So they do some serious damage here. Then we also have... Okay, we have another assault over here. Oh, wow, that is a really sweet gun. Independent assault rifle. Well, it, it's not really that good with the stats, but it looked really sweet from the, from the image, from the icon. And then we have another assault class right here. That's the two that I can see, but there was another one we can see. Was there another third one? No? Okay, so I would say with Yar, the first thing we should do is move out a little bit into cover. And see if we can find someone else. Okay, we have two enemies spotted. Excellent. So we have more enemies now. Okay, here we the sniper. Now the sniper is obviously something that we're going to have to take out straight away. Because that's 110 damage. They can shoot across the map. He has 18 will points. points. Like, that is some serious sniperage. So I would say that definitely warrants the launcher missile straight in the face. And oh, look at that. We can actually get both of them. Or we can get this one to die. Let me see, actually. Oh, that would be sweet. We can hit the other one as well. That would be sweet. Let's see if that works out. <laughs> I just love this. <laughs> oh, the, the second one went outside the map. No. But he got his equipment damaged. Uh, does he have his gun completely broken now? The Firebird got damaged. Oh, that was too close to the edge. Ah, oh, what a pity. Okay, so... Ready for action. Let's see. We have another Assault class. Wow, there is a lot of Assault classes here. Okay, so I would say let's go on to... Let's put these guys here onto Overwatch. And let's take it up to here, I would say. Excellent. And we have a sniper rifle available now, so we can actually take a shot at... Wow, we have some good accuracy. Now, of course, a barrel is in the way. And what accuracy do we have with this guy? Okay, nothing. Okay, so let's actually go over... I would say let's go over here we have a little bit of cover and let's go overwatch as well especially with the sniper rifle actually let me go with the sniper rifle oh we can actually take a shot it's the distance okay yeah that's not gonna work out too well so what we might want to do is definitely overwatch on this area here now I'm conscious of the fact I'm overlapping my areas and I'm I want to overlap them because I want both of my guys to be able to get a shot off now I'm gonna go intentionally a little bit further to the right though because I don't want him necessarily to be shot twice I, I'm just interested in the sniper more or less and we're gonna cover this big area here as well there we go I'm on overwatch. now we have our actual sniper I would like to bring my sniper somewhere up top that would be really cool if we could get our sniper up top. There's some stairs here. So if we could get close to our stairs. Okay. Let's go here. Dashing ahead. Enemy contact. Oh, yes, here's the heavy. So, oh, wow. We have two heavies here. And, oh, oh, they have a machine gun. What is the range on that? Eight. Okay, so they have to walk quite a bit to actually get to us. So we have a good chance of actually destroying them before they get to us, which would be good. Now, if I go to my assault rifle again, I can put them onto Overwatch. Actually, I'm going to go Overwatch across here there we go okay that's it let's leave our vehicle here and stand by see how that works out 
Okay, we have a salt class here. Oh, wow, there's an O. Oh, that's a Berserker, I think. Okay. Overwatch. Overwatch. He did Overwatch. I was a bit premature there. What do we have here? Oh, holy balls. He's running. He's definitely assault. Oh, wow. He has dash as well. And here's the sniper. He's using a med kit. Wow. That is really cool to see that they heal each other. Okay, he's going up top. Okay, I can see what's happening. Now, let's take Charlie first. I would say... Definitely go here to get rid of these two. Excellent. One dead, one seriously hurt. I don't think he can actually shoot his gun right now. Yeah, his gun is gone. That's it. So unless he can repair limbs, he's really not a threat anymore. Now, we definitely want to take uh, care of this oh, assault. see what we have here if we go for the head it has only 18 damage but we have a chance of missing so I would say let's go for the torso but before we do we want two shots let's do let's do a quick aim nice we can do another quick aim but let's see if What's our plan? Hopefully... Okay. I was hoping maybe to get a shot off with fish bed. So if I go here... I could then move our vehicle forward. I think our vehicle can still move forward. Excellent. Yeah, we do that. I can Down use it as a cover. So I'm going to move here. And let's see what damage I can do with my... Ooh. That would be sweet. But if we do that... Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Yes. Fish bed. Damn it. Fish bed is going to be such a killing machine. Okay, let's go Charlie and move Charlie a little bit up so we can cover fish bed. Nice. Excellent. Receiving loud and clear. Okay. No. Standing by. Don't worry about the sniper, don't worry about these guys. The assault is the one we have to worry about. That's a very big circle. It's a very big circle of hurt. So can we get up on a high ground, actually? So if I... Where's the... Let me see. How do we get up here? We can get up here through these stairs. So let's use the dash ability all the way to the stairs. And then... Yes. There we go. Okay, let's do it. We have a high chance of missing, of course, but keep it high. Yes, 20 damage. Good, I like it. And now we can take another shot at uh, with quick aim at the other guy up top. looks good could we destroy the bulldog or the arm we could destroy the arm potentially or we could stay centered and go for the torso yes 90 equipment damage oh that is so sweet okay let's hope we survive okay the male guy is disappearing no oh that's good 20 damage, minus 9 armor, that's okay. I'm glad Fishbed was hiding behind it. We have the Assault class coming down. Yes! Return fire, beautiful. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, he's gonna be cannon for the fellow snipers. Okay. Ooh, what is that? We need to pick that up. Okay, who do we attack with our car first? Let me go to Yar and see if we have a good shot. Zooming in. Let's try it out. 20 damage. Nice, 20 damage. And Ooh, let's let's try that. Let's do this. Let's try that. Oh, that would be so sweet. Oh, destroyed the bulldog. Nice. That is lovely. Now, I don't know how many grenades they have, but we definitely have to get a move on the assault class still. Okay. Yes, we're gonna take him. Quick aim, because our uh, quick aim gives us actually more accuracy, which means we're gonna be much better off um, aiming at his head now, I think. Oh, how did that miss? No. Taking aim. Okay, oh, that's a big. Okay, let's go for this guy, I suppose. Nice, six damage only. Oh, man, that was too far away. Okay, who are we gonna kill? I suppose we want to maybe destroy this guy here. He has no more weapons, so I would say these two here. Take the cover off, basically. Nice. Beautiful. And move the car back down. The fish bed covered. Excellent. Okay, let's do it. My turn. Okay, here's no more grenades. That's good. Ooh, 96 damage. Holy crap. That's doing a lot of damage. We definitely want to take care of him. Okay. All set. We have the mailer guy here. Okay, let me see what my aim is. Ready to fire. <sighs> Let's do it. Oh! Took one down. Fish bed. I don't know what to tell you. You're just you're just absolute beast. Oh man. What is this? What is this logo here? Is that something where we can go up to? I want to try that. I'm a little bit confused where it is though. It is up here. Let's go up there. What is that? Oh, three will Oh, everybody got three will points. Nice. Oh, yes, we got another quick aim. That is so cool. In that case, I would say Let's go up here. Let's do a quick aim. Oh no, we don't need a quick aim. Let's take the sniper. There we go, boom. Oh, he has so little left. So little left. Let's do a quick aim and see if we can kill him with the assault rifle. 
Oh, I thought it would good. I thought we had one left. I'm such an idiot. That was such a waste. I wonder if it carries over to the next round. Yeah, we we have to waste our rockets on him because he has a serious cannon and we can't have him shoot at our guys. <sighs> Complete overkill. But fish bed, I want to go over here and get that gear to see what it is. Yeah, they're getting close now. Yeah, he's slowly bleeding to death over there. Okay, now, Charlie. Out of ammunition, reload to use. Ooh, we have no reload. Huh, interesting. We are all out of missiles open. now. I'm here. Okay. Taking aim. Yeah, we're gonna have to move over one. Excellent. I actually wanted to shoot with the sniper, but okay. Oh, look at that. No, 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 we don't need him. We want to get... To these guys here yeah there's nobody else left here so let's go overwatch just in case they're walking into the line of sight there we go like full cover if possible Ugh. I don't think we're gonna get a full cover okay what we can do though is overwatch as well on this guy okay let's do it Overwatch on him so that we don't shoot Yar in the face. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, he died. Excellent. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, that was a beauty. Ready to fire. Okay. Nice. Oh, that bleed will kill him. <coughs> I have to get to the other guy, though. That bleed does kill him. He's 10 health. Oh, he's 18 health. Ooh, okay. He's not gonna be quite dead yet. Okay. I would like to get a shot at the other guy. He's hiding quite well. <laughs> Go overwatch on this guy. Holding position. Okay. Oh, half cover doesn't let you peek. So 
low cover the kneel half cover the peak oh the full cover the peak there we go there's full cover so with full cover they lean into the wall so if you try to take a shot they lean which is good so this should be a hit yeah, just gonna take a moment. okay excellent and yeah we're out of ammo i don't know if it can reload um does it automatically reload and how does it reload i have no idea i suppose we should bring some launch missiles and put them into the vehicle maybe that's what we have to do <laughs> okay there we go he's moving oh what a pity I love explosions. No! that's okay return fire target missed that's not too bad um, we were behind full cover, so we were at least not hurt too bad. And how's our... Okay. Everything seems to be still in good order. Okay. A very bad cover here, but... Better than nothing. Head up here. Get the high ground. Oh, look at that beauty. Nice. That's the MG damaged. I hope we're gonna get all this gear that's on the ground. So Taking aim. Pick it up. Nice. 76 damage. Okay, hopefully we survive. He can take a shot at us. Oh, balls. Oh, yes. Whew. Okay, um, I want Fishbed to get the kill potentially if he has... Okay, let me move around. What's the story with Yar? Why is Yar on yellow? Oh, okay, we have to reload. So I would say let's move here with Yar. On my way. Just out of the way. And then fish bed. Loud and clear. Targeting. No, not this guy. Fish bed should be able to take a shot at. Oh, I'm actually right behind Yar now. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. I want Fishbed to get as many kills as possible. Um, okay. What do we have here? Let's go pick up some stuff. And let's see if we can take that shot. Okay. Let's head out. I'm on my way. Okay, yeah, what do we have? Okay, we have Firebird Magazine. And we can craft them ourselves. But let's see if we're gonna get that on the end screen. And here we have... Ooh, nice. Independent, not proficient, I know. But we're gonna take that. Absolutely. And then we can hopefully reverse engineer it. Burst, look at this, a 40 and burst 10. The machine gun we have is 40 burst 12. It's actually better, but it's still good to pick that up if we can. Very good. Be right there. I'm on the move. Okay, excellent. Um, yeah, let's finish this guy off. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Let's see what we got here. No, oh, it's just some ammunition, assault rifle, magazine. Okay, this was just a lot of walking around. So, <laughs> there was not much to show, so I did cut that out. Um, let's see, actually. Can we take him out with... Targeting. Oh, that would be sweet. Actually, if we take him out with the rifle. Uh, yeah, with the... Uh, beautiful. <coughs> so, that means Fishbed got three or four kills. 
which is really awesome. And we have a little bit of damage, which is not the best. Okay, yeah, Fishbag got the most experience. Now he's nearly leveling up. One more mission, and I think we got that. You have done well. The Exalted sends her thanks. And the Synod of Yearning will speak the names of your operatives at morning prayer. Do not feel ashamed of having killed your fellow humans. Although you may pity them, for in clinging to the old, they doom the future. Okay. All right. The voiceless Hierophant shall judge you when the time is right. We got 200 tech, that is sweet, and 200 materials, 200 food, diplomatic relations with some of them have changed. So now, <clears throat> because we are in the yellow, we are now supportive, so we are above 24. Defend havens against attack in order to improve your reputation. Okay. We have now access to all of the havens, which means if we have something like this over here, we can actually now travel there because they have bases so close to each other that we could travel to the biogenesis mission without any problems but what i would like to do especially now that we have this let's heal up first let's heal up first Research complete. and oh yes another 150 tech that is sweet we're going to finish our base re refurbishment now pandoran evolution fields reports are indicating that some pandorans of the athron and triton types are gradually developing resistances and counters to our weaponry while this process in some ways resembles traditional evolution it is clearly a much more directed process rather than adapting to evolutionary pressure the pandorans are being adapted with a goal in mind the eradication of humanity very good. Okay. Well, it's not good, but very good. Okay, what do we have here? Look at that. We even can go here. Okay. That is really cool. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go heal first, by the way. And let's wait until we're fully healed. Okay, everything's repaired. Oh yeah, let me check out in the moment personnel. Can we go into Charlie? No, Charlie doesn't have storage. So how do we get ammunition? That is interesting. How do we get ammunition for Charlie? So what is Charlie using? It doesn't say. We can't go into his info. We can't change anything on the coloration. It just says rockets. Equipment. Vehicles. We can do another plane, which has another six capacity, and then we can take up to 12 soldiers to each mission. You see, I'm building the Deceptor, which is... Oh, oh yes, the other thing is, is done, but we can't use it yet. We can't use it yet. And we are researching the iron class. I can't wait for this to be done either. There's so many things I can't wait for. And then we're going to do the capture and containment. Let's queue this up so we don't forget about it. And here we go. Excellent. And we should be doing the starting quest now. So we remember in the beginning when we saw the factions, we had um, quests with them. There's a quest here, there's a quest here, and I think there was a mission in one of theirs. There's a mission there. So we can do the starter missions now as well. I think we would be up for it. I definitely would like to try them, and we're going to do one more in this episode. So let me just fully heal up, and then we're off. Oh, my sources tell me New Jericho has developed a new type of APC. I hope they intend to use it to fight the Pandorans, not their fellow human beings. Well, don't start a war with them. But the real question is, how can you win a war if you don't understand the battlefield? All the vehicles in the world won't help you if you cling to the delusions of the old world. I should know. I remember the wars of the old world better than anyone. Okay, we are 29% with the Anu. And that's good. We can afford to lose a little bit. But I want to get a little bit better with New Jericho. So what I'm going to say, New Jericho is the last spasm of a dying order. A military victory is possible. Tobias West has a plan. So I'm going to say that to side with Jericho. An interesting yes. display of faith. Okay. But all the great leaders of the old world thought they had plans. 
And where are they now? Well, I see it like this. Yeah, We have three factions. The whole world is coming to an end, and we still have three people who are leaders. So either one, either of those three obviously is doing a good job in their own way. Otherwise, they wouldn't still be alive, leading a lot of people trying to fight for Earth's survival. So no matter what direction they want to go, they're obviously doing something right. So that's good, which means now we have Jericho finally in the friendly. Now, a new slip back down to 24, but I think because we did the diplomatic mission, we can get back up without doing that quest again, I think. I'm not really sure actually how that works. But let's do... Let's do the Anu then first, I suppose. Or we're gonna do... Yeah, let's do Jericho first. Before we do, though, let's do some upgrades to our base. Now, what I want to do is I want to get rid of the storage. I want to demolish it. Okay, we gained back. Okay, that's good. Now, I want to build another training facility here. Another training facility here. Okay. <clears throat> so that is gonna be then 20 power, is it? Are we on 20 power right now? Hang on a second. Okay, excellent. So we got everything. Excellent. So we're now at maximum power, which means we can take out the food production, which gives us back three power, and put another three training things in there. That would mean we would have 12 experience per hour, which would be a really good start whenever we hire a new person. All they really need to do is stay in our base for two days and that's it, while we're crafting the gear. And that's it. They're absolutely, they're done. They, 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 they basically get a really good start. I think that's how it should work. And food production we can always do on the other end, but we can trade also for food, and we have a lot of food right now, so I don't think food is something to worry about necessarily. So I think we're doing okay for now. So let's go over here and do the Jericho mission. Research complete. Oh, yes! That is so sweet. Can I just check, actually, if Yar can equip it already? Oh, no, we actually have to craft it. Okay, so let's go into manufacturing and let's straight away craft it. Where's the shotgun? Down here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Craft one right away. Disciples of a new shotgun. And we have some uh, magazines, so we're okay. Oh, man, this is going to be amazing. So if we go to fish bed, we can actually now give him the grenade launcher. But it has five weight, so we can't really do it right now. We have to wait until he levels up. Fort Locust Haven run by New Jericho, which means that normally things are quiet. Oh, that's the same text we had in the beginning. Stop a group of rampaging soldiers. Okay, let's do it. It's a big map. Obviously, there's nothing here because we have our car here. But we might divide and conquer anyway. So for now, nice. I would say... Let's use our dash ability to get up here. Crunch time. Okay. Let's set up an overwatch, especially here in the windows. So if there's anything here in the windows, or somebody's coming through the windows, that would be great. Let's do the overwatch here. I'm going to take... I'm here. We have full cover. So let's go and do an over... Oh! Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm on my way. Let's do that. Let's do a quick aim. Okay, five will points and height. Okay, excellent. And was our uber weapon? We're going to head here and do a very sharp cone, so we don't hit um, Darren. 
on this side, just in case. Yeah, we can't do Overwatch with you, so you're just gonna have to stay here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, we have another one coming in there. Coming in hot. Oh, look at that! Oh, sweet! Disabled the head! Oh, my balls! Oh, mind controlled. That's not good. What the hell we mind controlled? Two people mind controlled? No! Oh, here we go. Oh, One yes. less to worry about. Okay. Wow, what is this? I don't know. What? What is. He can what? Mind control. Gain control of an enemy with will points. Costs equal to enemy's current. Okay. Psychic scream. Reducing the will points of all enemies. I would say, well, we, we don't have a choice. We have to kill him, because if we kill him, then um, I suppose he can't mind control us. So... Heading out. Okay. Acquiring target. No, not you guys. No, this guy. I want to get as much of the circle in as possible. Oh, there we go, he's dead. Is the mind control released? Yes, it is. Good. Okay, so now we have somebody here. What I would like to do, and we have somebody here as well. That is good, because what I would like to do now is open a door, preferably. I just want to make sure I don't hit my own guy. So, okay. Let's... Let's do this. Here we go now. Come on. Give, give us some action. Oh, nice. Oh, that is sweet. Let me see. Oh, there was another guy here. <laughs> he is bleeding profusely. This is awesome. Okay, so we're obviously going to get shot at now because, well, we have no points. We were mind controlled. Here we go. Okay. 48 damage, that's okay. Return fire? Born again, anarchist. Mm. You're gonna get it now. <laughs> Disabled the head, bleeding, that's not good. We're gonna have to oh, okay, okay, okay. We can we can heal this. Um I don't have healing on me, but Yar has online. healing. So what I would say is Actually, you know what? I think we don't have a choice. Let's get Charlie in here. And... Was there not a way... Is there not a hole in the roof at this stage? No. Well, we could shoot at the roof. And then hopefully the roof gets destroyed. Let's see. Yes, and the other guy is panicking. That is exactly what I was looking for. Either death or panic. That's absolutely fine by me. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, fish bed. We need to kill things. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, disabled everything. And ah, he's the only walk right here. Let's heal. Um, yes, okay, good. Whew. Nice. And do we have a shot left? No. But hello. Taking How are you. Uh, uh, that's a kill. Is that it? Beautiful. Beautiful. 
and Fishbane leveled up. Yes. Oh, nice. And Darren leveled up as well. And Fishbat is seriously injured, I would say. <laughs> I had always assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day, even after Symes disappeared. It seems to be the defining pattern of your history, fall then rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make, after all, you're not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. What happened to those soldiers? What happened to those soldiers was disturbing. Okay, that's a weird sentence. That is why I did not intervene. We could have stopped those soldiers oh, ourselves easily yeah. enough. Okay. But I needed you to see, to understand that far more is at stake here we than just our this. ecosystem or our genetic purity. We are being robbed of what makes us human, our will. I fear neither the Utopians at Sinedrian nor those Anu fanatics really understand that. If you can recognize the real nature of the threat, perhaps we can work together. All right, stopping. we got some experience with the Jerichos. Very good, I like it. Let's see, everything is going well still. Okay, we're at six now. Let's try to get that up. <laughs> the mission was actually pretty quick. Uh, I think we still got some time. So I would say we definitely have to go and heal. And the Deceptor is nearly ready. And our shotgun should be hopefully ready as well soon. So let's move over here. And um, let's do some personnel. Excellent. Okay, so let's do some training. Oh, quick aim. That is going to be awesome. So let me do some strength first. How much strength do I need? Okay, if I want to take... I want to take three guns, okay? What do I need on strength? I don't even need ammunition for any of those, to be honest. I need 19 at least. Okay, so let's go up. Okay. And quick aim. Beautiful. That is amazing. Fish bed is now officially an absolute mother of balls face to the wall. Absolutely balls to the wall killer. And then he can get the marksman next. Holy shit. <laughs> he gets a marksman next. Oh, that's going to be insane. That is going to be absolutely insane. Okay, so fish bed, you are a beauty. Okay, here's Darren. Maxman, absolutely. First thing. Now, I didn't need any of those. If I do another playthrough at some point, um, like the DLCs when they come out and all that, um, then I think I will definitely do a very optimized run. As in, we're not going to spend any of those points. We're just taking the key points like Quick Aim and Marksman, for example. And then sometimes, and this is the thing about dual classing, which is really good. Like, say, for example... Fish bed here could actually get um, heavy training, an extra heavy training thing. So because say he go, he dual classes with a sniper, the sniper can have actually um, a task. Uh, one of the perks here saying like, oh, proficiency with um, like here assault rifles increased by twenty percent. It could actually say proficiency with heavy weapons increased by twenty percent. That could be a perk. So if you dual class. Um, a sniper then was a heavy and that comes up you basically just again increasing the proficiency of the weapon was the heavy you already have specialized in which is going to be amazing because you already have it here so you could double up nearly on that it's absolutely amazing so the action points constant grenades yeah we don't worry about this stuff just yet but yeah i'm really happy with that now what do we need for darren what oh return fire might be a good idea I'm not 100% sure, but gain assault rifle proficiency with 20% damage and accuracy? That would be good. I mean, what we really want from is strength, I think, in the moment. Strength and willpower for dash. Do we have dash? No. So let's, let's take dash. Okay, that means we have dash, we have quick aim, we're gonna get return fire later, and let's put the rest into strength. 
because that allows us to at least have one extra clip with us. Oh, can we have two clips? Okay, excellent. That is sweet. That is really, really good. Okay, I like that. Fish bed, sorted. Darren, sorted. Yar, your beauty are gonna level up next. There we go, get one. Now I might as well give you two. All right, let's heal up. And then we're gonna head out to Disciples of Anu mission. And then we're gonna do the Sinitran mission. If the mission is also just five, six minutes, we might we might do all three of them in this episode. It will be an, an at least hour-long episode, but it means we have all the faction oh oops, all the faction missions done. Which would be good. The initial faction missions. Okay, at the disciples of a new haven of Haranu, a mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. The locals had placed their hopes in Taxiak near Gal. The disciples, oh yeah, we read that already. He's not available, so can we help them? Yeah, sure, we can. All right, we have Charlie here. We have our three guys here, which are absolutely amazing. Oh, look at this. We now have accuracy with a proficiency weapon. It's increased by 50% while there are no spotted enemies within 10 tiles. So, <laughs> I basically have Darren, which has an insane amount of accuracy now. So, if I'm gonna go on, again, action points here. We have a fireworm over here who can't reach us, as far as I can tell. I don't think so. So I would say let's move out with Dash. Gotta keep on pushing. See if we can spot anybody. Okay, there's a fireworm here. Okay. Now his proficiency is gone because we were spotted. But we have two worms. Um Yeah, hopefully that will be enough. Excellent. We got them. It's one down. Okay. Leave it like that. Stand by. Oh, he still has. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, we can't really get to him. I think. Let me see. Fish bed. See, Yar should be doing a lot of killing in this round. I think using Charlie will be a bit overkill. So why don't we move Charlie forward? Okay. And then, if we would like to move here, that is the route we have to take. Okay, let's just, let's just move out a little bit more. Ow! Okay, that was not good. I spotted an enemy. <laughs> okay. So, if I want to go here, that's where they have to come through. If I want to go here, that's where we can come through. So, what I would say is... Let's use Darren to... Overwatch with... The assault rifle right here this area here and with Yar we're going to do this area here oh that's not yeah sorry it was fish bed we're gonna do this area here I'm gonna use the minigun as one Let's not hit the car. There we go. And yes, um, let's not move with our car at the moment because we're gonna blow everything up. There we go. Oh, the machine gun! Oh, I love the minigun! I equipped the minigun, by the way, just before we left. Okay. Okay. Oh, sneaky! There's another fireworm over there. Okay. Ooh, look at that. 
Holy crap, Apple. What the hell is that? Okay, this just became interesting. What is that? A Chiron. Launch multiple fireworms over long range. Well, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to die. Um, big time. Oh, wow. That is insane. Is he like proof or something? Fireproof. Oh, great. That was just the armor. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's see that again. Um, he has 30 bleed now. He has 484 health left. Ability Stomp Shock. Perform Stomp... Okay, yeah. Anyway, we have to stay the hell away from him. Now, I think... Let's... Do a hand grenade. Using... On these two worms. Okay, it doesn't matter if we cost a little bit damage here. Then we're gonna have to skedaddle, or actually. All I need is a clip. There we go. That's one worm gone. <sighs> That's the closest worm to us, I think. Let's use quick aim, so we can do an overwatch with the minigun, basically. And then we're going to... Oh, he's dead, is he? No, hang on a second. Ready to fire. Yeah, there's the guy. <sighs> Good. Okay. And now, um, Overwatch into here. Okay. I would like to get the high ground here on this, if possible. That's a bit high. I don't know if we can manage to do that. So I would say right now, let's do across the whole field an overwatch. Like this cone. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Oh, 40 damage. Okay. Yes. Nice. Okay, he's shooting three fireworms. Can they move though at the same time now? Okay, now. Obviously. This is what we have to shoot at. That is intense. That's a kill. Hostile down. Okay. I would like to somehow be able to get into a situation where I can shoot at this guy. Um, but we're pretty much... Yeah, I don't think we have a choice. Um, okay, I'm gonna go and get out here. Where's Yar? Yar has dash. Okay, let's dash all the way out here. Yes, let's do this. Let's dash. Here. And... Let me try something. Repositioning. 
We're gonna move back. And go overwatch here with the minigun. I got this covered. Okay. Is that it? Oh, who's that? Yeah, can Ya actually shoot out of the vehicle? No, she can get out of the vehicle and then shoot and then back in. Actually, that would be good. Exit. And, oh, she loses all the action points. Well, in that case, go back in. There we go. Okay, that's it. And turn. Okay, 40 damage. Oh, there's a hand grenade if there ever was one. Oh, he shoots another three. Genie, Maka, balls. I think we're just gonna have to outrun these guys, to be honest. Um, Charlie. Let's do it. Kill it. And... Okay, now let's get Ya out of that container. Actually, let's go into our inventory. Let's, how much does it cost to get out? Two action points, then we only have one left. Mm. <sighs> okay, we're gonna stay in there, so Yara's gonna stay. No, we're not gonna evac. Let's try something here. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, I didn't even realize I can do that. I forgot I can do that. I completely forgot Fishbane had a grenade launcher on. That went wide. Like, hello? Okay. I could have done it with a quick aim, actually. Yeah, that would have been much better. And let's go all the way back here. Actually, let's dash. here and shoot shoot at this one okay Excellent. threat eliminated and now dash again you got to keep going taking aim and shoot again I completely forgot it. He died. Good. Okay, they can't reach us. That's it. We've done it. That's it. Okay, yeah, you need to level up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you exit out of the vehicle. And take a shot. There we go. And channel open. I'm here. I like playing with this gun. <laughs> so, um. Ah, no, five, five, five. It. Ready to. That's a kill. I think we're done. Yeah, that was actually fun. I completely forgot about my grenade launcher. Burr. And yes, we are leveled up. Nice. <coughs> Very good. I love this scarab. 
the only time I can see the Scarab being a real pain in the balls is uh, in the nest. So what we need, we need bigger ships. There is actually bigger ships you can get from other factions, I believe, which have eight slots. Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm going to break protocol to say thanks. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever and Sinedrian may sound great, but only the Exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess. Give us lives worth living. Well, we're not ready to put our faith in your dogma. Very well. I don't blame you. It's hard to see the right path sometimes. I hope you recognize it while there's still time. The liturgy of the divine flesh is coming, whether you like it or not. Well, I don't like it, <laughs> but it's very good. We got actually some 5% again with Jericho, which is really cool. So we're back to 24, 11, 24 here. So we, we are holding our own with the factions, which is really good. Oh, that is an insane thing. We're first described as a cross between a beetle and an artillery launcher. Dissecting one would bring more insight into firing mechanisms of the bioorganics. We definitely should cue this baby up. After we do the containment. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, we need more resources. Um, oh, what do we have here? Haven info? We actually can get some tech with... can actually get some tech with ma materials but yeah that's okay anyway this took actually longer than expected so I think next time what we're gonna do is we're going to heal up first and then we're gonna send everybody down to the Sinedrians and we're gonna do the faction quest but before we do that let's check where we do our next scan now we're gonna have to find another base and we want to do all of these we can actually do all of these now i think oh that's the only one we can't reach let me see yeah we can't reach that we can't reach that we can't reach that we can't reach that so how do we get there let me see so we could come from here so we could send a scanner here hopefully find something here get across Otherwise, the problem is going to be we're going to have to come from here, which is even worse. Oh, we can get up to here. So, okay. So, we could send a scan here. Get to do this exploration site. And then move on to here. Move on to here. Oh, we actually can get to here. That is interesting. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's put a scan right here. And let's do Frozen? It's a mission? Okay, let's heal up first. That's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to do these quests, if we can, after we do the Sinedrian's uh, main mission. And we can actually do a lot of those missions here on the side, which is awesome. Even the Bulwark, whatever that was, I don't even remember. We actually can get there as well then. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. And then we can scan these mists because we need to obviously fight the mists or the nests inside the mists um i wonder if there's anything bigger than the nests anyway yeah there's a lot to explore this game is absolutely amazing anyway i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next episode and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming